Hello there! Welcome back to my painting channel! Today we are going to be testing out different colour washes on zombies. Here we have a small group of mantic zombies that we put together and assembled. Skin tones for these. We've covered them all in the exact same colour. They are all covered in Citadel Kislev Flesh. What we're going to try and do is make a mixture of different tones to see which one works quite well for a zombie. So we have a green tone, a soft tone, a red tone, a purple tone. We're using a few different manufacturers for these. And pretty much we just covered the whole skin tone in one wash and one colour, just to try to get the most out of them. And once they're covered, I've gone back and I've reapplied the skin tone to try to see which ones stand out the most. I had high hopes for the green wash, uh, but I think the green would probably work better in, in splotches and in patches rather than on a whole miniature and covering up a whole model. Um, but it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks very, very messy from here, but as I say, once you go back and you bring back the skin tones and things like that, it does have a a unique sort of effect. I was hoping that with the green it would make him look a lot more rotten, um, which it does in some ways, but maybe not as much as I was hoping. This one now is the soft tone from the Army Painter. It's a lot more neutral and soft tone, being a little bit of a brown sort of. Um, goes well with a lot of sort of neutral tone bases, a lot of muddy bases, dirty bases and things like that. And this is him with his skin repainted and re-added. See those neutral darkened points work really, really well. So I think the brown is probably the safest option, the soft tone. The red tone from the army painter is also another unique tone. Uh, it's pooled in a few stages here, but as we get back through when we take a look, it will be uh, a little bit different now, you'll see. And there we go. Just added a little bit of extra points onto the base. But the red kind of has an interesting effect as well. It pools in nice areas, ready for like the bloody parts and things like that. Gives him a little bit more warmth to his, uh, to his skin tone. And the purple, the hope for the purple, the droogy violet from uh, Games Workshop was that it would have a sort of bruised effect, making it a little bit, um, a little bit more darker and bruised up. So there you go, there's four different tones, four different ways to paint up and, and wash your zombies. Nice and quick and easy, simple little video today. Let me know which colour is your favourite in the comments. Uh, and thanks again for, for tuning in and checking out some of my painting. Uh, appreciate the views. Thank you very much.